and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Ashley. This week we're going to look at how you can import an existing title block into SolidWorks Electrical and how to modify and add attributes to make it intelligent. To begin, I'm going to need a title block in DWG format. Because I need this in DWG, I'm first going to go ahead and save this out by doing File, Save As. I'm going to give it a name that describes what it is and make sure that I choose DWG as the format. Go ahead and click Save. Make sure you put that in a location where you can find that so that you can import that into SolidWorks Electrical. So now we've switched over into SolidWorks Electrical and we're going to want to import this to our library. To do that, we're gonna take a look at the Library tab and here you'll see we have our Title Blocks Manager. Once we click this, we have the option to import DWG files. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Files. Now that we've selected the file, I can hit Next. In the next page it asks if you have any configuration you'd like to use. I'm just going to go ahead and say no for the configuration. The next page it asks us to add some information. If the name that you've provided for the file isn't descriptive of what that actually is, you might want to change that. Here we can go ahead and classify it. In this case, I know this is going to be an ANSI B size. So I'm going to put that into that classification. We can also add it to the library. Again, this is going to be an ANSI standard. And click Next. In this case, the software hasn't discovered any intelligent attributes. We'll just hit Next. We didn't make anything significant to this import, so this won't be very useful to save as a configuration for future. So I'm going to say Do Not Save and hit Finish. So now, if we take a look at our Title Blocks Manager, you'll see we have this title block called Tech Tip B. What I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up. In our case, I'm going to take a look at some of the information that's going to be down in this lower right corner. So first, I know that I'm going to want a project description as well as what the page uh, description is over in this area. So I'm going to go to Projects and select this Project tab. If I expand this out, there is a description here of what each of these actually mean. So I'm going to go ahead, take the project tab, and place this down here. Now something to note that's pretty important is if you want your title blocks to be nice, clean, lined up, you're going to want to turn on your snaps. I didn't do that yet. We can go ahead, turn on our snaps, and now we can see that it's starting to snap to the grid. We can go ahead and change our snap settings. I can just right click, and here, set this to something a little more workable. I'll do 0.125. So I'll go ahead and place this about here. We'll go ahead and grab the drawing uh, description as well. And we'll place this here. And we'll delete out this text here because this isn't very useful. This is going to come from something in the project. I'll go ahead and click delete. In my case, I'm going to be using the folio tag or mark for this number here. However, depending on your needs, you might end up using just the folio number or the order number of the drawing. I'm just going to double click, place this in here. If we take a look down here, there's a few other fields that we can feel free to fill in. I'm going to take a look at the revision and make it so that this page has a current revision number. You can edit them so that they are aligned in a certain way. So what I'm going to do with these is go ahead, right click, and take a look at the properties. I'm going to have this aligned middle and center. Now what's nice is I can actually copy these properties and apply them to any other attributes just by right clicking and doing apply copy properties. Now you'll see this has changed where these are located, so I do want to go ahead, clean this up, and make sure that everything looks nice and lined up. So now we're going to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save up top. We have now created and modified a title block that can be used in SolidWorks Electrical that is stored in our SolidWorks Electrical library. I hope that you found this tech tip useful. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you watch again next week.
Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 